So now if we created a new scene and we wanted to import a cylinder, we can go to our visor, go to our library of objects tab, click on our primitives folder, and now we can see exactly what we're going to import into our scene. So let's say I wanted the cylinder, I can just right click on the cylinder and then import. When you right click you'll see a option to import. And now if we look in Maya, there is our cylinder. If we wanted to do the logo, I'll just right click on the I mean the cube, I'll right click on the cube and select import Maya file cube. And I'll probably put it on top of it. Yep, there it is. So it's that simple. So let's just do it one more time. Let's say we wanted to add another object to our primitives folder. I'm just going to create a new scene. I'll create a sphere this time. Kind of zoom in here. File, save scene as, I'm going to name it sphere. Make sure it's in my primitives folder. Now let's say this one, I'm going to save it as a .ma file instead of a .mb. Save. All right, I'm going to do a render because I know I'm going to need a, a render of this. View, camera, attribute editor, change our background to white, render it out, file, I'm going to save it as a JPEG again. Well, let's just do this one as a PNG, not do a JPEG, it's just a smaller file. So, go to my desktop, objects, primitives. And I'm going to name this one, this is our sphere. Alright, let's go ahead and just clear all that out. So inside of our primitives folder, we added our sphere and we also put a render in there. Okay, so let's go back to Maya. I'm going to open up my visor. Library of objects, click on our primitives. There's our sphere. And we have a JPEG image there. But all I need to do is go up to tabs again convert our current tab options, go down to generate swatch files for current images. And the only current image is the sphere. So I'm going to click that. And now if we look at our primitives folder, open our swatches, you'll see we have a sphere there now. All right, I don't need this JPEG anymore, so I'm going to delete it. So now I just have the files. So our visor now will just show just our files. The only thing we need to do now is go back to our swatch images. Our sphere is named sphere.ma instead of m.mb. So sphere.ma. So I need to make sure my sphere swatch image is named the same. So sphere.ma. And now if I go back into Maya, reselect our folder, you'll see it's replaced with our sphere. And if I want to, right click, import. And there's our sphere in Maya. If you need to reorganize your tabs, you can go up to you can select the tab, go up to your tabs menu, and you can move your tab left or right. You got some options there. You can also rename the tab. You can remove the tab if you need to. You can re, uh, go back to the default tabs. Um, you can also refresh your swatches, all of them, or just select ones, or your file listing. You can show directories. So you got several different options. You can you have for your tabs. And the more you get used to using the visor like this, the quicker you'll be at it. So it's really nice and it's really powerful. So just imagine yourself, you create a new scene. Let's say you created a living room and maybe you got a project to create a living living room for some kind of client and they didn't really care what kind of furniture you put in just as long as you had some furniture. So you could easily open up your visor then go to your library of furniture and then once you open your library of furniture, you'll see all different kind of furniture. You can have like a folder for couches, a folder for chairs, a folder for TVs, a folder for light, lighting, or uh, however you want to organize your folders. And then you can just start importing your objects. So we could import our cube, import cylinder, I could import sphere. So very simple, very quick, and you can see exactly what you're importing. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.